this video we'll talk about opportunity management and product and price book management so there are two more objects called product and price book uh, which will be leveraged in this video all right um, so let's just talk about the product and price book first and then after that we'll connect the dots uh, with opportunity and product so we have product and price book available here in the drop down uh, if you click on more uh, I mean, hope you remember last time how we configure this. So if you don't see the product and price book in your page, all you need to do is click on this pencil and make sure you are there in sales app first because we are just discussing the sales cloud, right? So click on nine dots, go to sales app. You'll get to see all the tabs. Maybe you don't see the product and price book here. So all you need to do is click on the pencil, click on add more items, all item and here search with product. Click on the plus button to add it search pri price book click on plus button to add it all right i have already added so i'm not just uh, not adding it back okay now um, once you add the product and price book let's go ahead and create a new product see i'm there in the product tab okay and uh, this is again an admin job to configure the product if you see the product object has a very minimum uh, fields like the name of the product the product code whether the product is active or not what is the description that's it but because the product is pretty much uh, uh, pretty much a static kind of uh, right for every company so Salesforce have not uh, created many fields for product but again this is an admin job so you as an admin have to create this products fields uh, based on the business need right um, I'll just create a new product our product name was GST automation that's the product name product code is GST 100 or let's say Delhi pad 100 that's the product name okay make sure it is active anything you use in Salesforce uh, you have to make sure that that uh, that uh, thing is active so that you can use it uh, save it and then uh, this is the product detail page and uh, as you know every record has two things one is detail one is related right so this is the related now here we just have captured the product data we have not captured any uh, price information right so now you have to go you as a business user ideally this would be done by the business user because admin as an admin maximum what you'll do is you'll just configure the product object so that you know you all the necessary fields um, are there in the product object to capture the data and who will load the data who will create the product information price book information that's again a business responsibility right they will create it or if it is like something what happened they have like so many product right I, I recently I was helping a customer and that customer was actually into um, they were using some other CRM and they moved to Salesforce CRM so they already had like so many products okay and uh, you know it's difficult for them to load the data one by one one by one so we as an admin took the job and we loaded the data we extracted the data from that existing CRM basically they extracted the data and gave it to us we got the excel file loaded with the product information we just loaded the data again in the configuration we will learn about a tool called data loader which will help us to do this bulk data load i mean thousands of product can be loaded at a time thousands of lead thousands of customers data can be loaded at a time we're going to learn, learn about that in the data loading um, sessions so this product doesn't have a price uh, so far right if you go to the related list we have something called add standard price click on add standard price and here you can actually provide the standard price every product will definitely have a standard price okay so let me just give the standard price as 100 us dollar by the way your default currency is us dollar okay uh, you as an admin can change the current currency as well because sometimes the business are like worldwide right they have their uh, customers um, from different different countries so they might have a different uh, currency so we can actually change it okay uh, the currency based on the logged in user um, country we can actually change the currency so same hundred dollars if somebody is logging from India and if his currency is set to INR it will show like 100 into 71 rupees this is the product detail page and this is the uh, standard price of that product now let me tell you about the price book see what happened is sometime one product may have multiple prices you must have seen that same product has been sold um, 
with the different different prices throughout the year right sometimes we have like thanksgiving day sometimes we have like uh, you know diwali offer or some some festival is going on so same product maybe the price is different based on the different festivals right so one product may have or may not have multiple prices let me give you another real time example suppose this product named gst automation rajesh is the sales executive rajesh knows that um, the standard price of the product is $100 but his customer xyz private limited is looking for 10% discount another sales executive came and say you know what my customer is looking for 20% discount or business have said that maybe if customers are buying bulk amount of um, products maybe they are buying 100 products at a time give them 10% discount you see so same product which had a standard price but the price uh, the price is getting changed uh, based on the different situations so one product may or may not have multiple prices and where do you maintain that price we have another object called price books so if you click on the more option we have another object called price book click on the price book there is no price book created so far let us go ahead and create a new price book name of the price book is uh, thanksgiving day price price book okay just give some description this is not a standard price book this is a custom price book right so i'm just not selecting this checkbox save now i have created a price book so this is just a price book detail by the way we have not enter like what be the what would be the final amount here just the price book i have created if you see the related list one okay here also you have to consider one thing like what we discuss in the campaign and the lead object right many to many relationship here also same thing one product can be a part of multiple price books right and the same price book let's say uh, thanksgiving day price book can be tagged to multiple products here also many to many relationship and wherever you find this many to many relationship you you get to see the same thing i mean you can go to the price book and then can add the product see i am there in the price book right look at my screen i am there in the price book and here i have a button called add product so i can go to the price book and add a product or i can go to the product so this is my product details i can go to the product and in the related list i have something called add to price book so there are two ways i can associate a product with the price book either i can go to the price book here and if i go to the related i have a button called add products or i can go to the product and if i go to related i have a button called add to price book so both these places we can add we can tag a product with uh, price book okay. i'm there in the product page and and i'm going to associate this product gst automation with the price book called thanksgiving day price book this price book okay how do i do it i'll just click on add to price book which price book standard not standard thanksgiving day price book and the currency is usd as i said uh, by default currency is us dollar but we can uh, change uh, we can have we can onboard multiple uh, currencies uh, in the same org okay so i'm selecting us dollar as the currency and next what i'm doing is i'm adding the product name gst automation with the price book name uh, thanksgiving day okay see this was the price uh, the standard price was 100 us dollar but because of this price book let's say i'm making it 90 dollar here exactly when when you tag a product with a price book this is where you give the um, list price details i mean the actual price detail okay so far we're doing it manually again uh, you might have a recommend um, um, uh, from your customer saying like if the uh, price book name is 10% discount then automatically make it like uh, 10% of the standard price that is associated that's something we have to do configuration or customizations okay but as of now it, this is something you have to do it manually right uh, as a business user will be entering this list price manually let me save this data if you see here this product named gst automation has two price book one is the standard price which is $100 one is the thanksgiving day price which is uh, 90 us dollar okay so i have created the product and i have associate the associated the product with the price book by the way if you go back to the price book see this is my price book right so far there was no product 
tagged right if i just now refresh and if i go back to the related see there's a product associated if you go to the price book and go to the related right you can see here the product that i just now associated okay so my product name gst automation is been tagged with the price book called uh, thanksgiving day price uh, price book and the list price is 90 us dollar okay my product and price book is set up so business will actually do this product and price book set up before even they you know onboard the leads convert the leads into account contact and opportunity because this product and price book is something you have to add it in the customer journey uh in case if you don't see the price book let's say you have created a price book you have created a product but you are not able to tag the price book with the product just make sure that the product has at least a standard price in order to add a price book you must have a standard price uh, defined for the product just check if the product has a standard price or not if not add a standard because every product ideally should have a standard price and on top of that whatever price book that you want to associate you can as a sales executive you can associate right so oh, i'm done with the product and price book setup i'll go back to the account okay if i go back to the account so this is the account right xyz private limited remember john was the first contact person then joe came as the second contact person if i go back to the account this is the account detail page where it shows all the account details account information now i as a sales executive can open the account can see entire account details and can go to the related list and can see okay this account has two contact person one is joe one is john and uh, you can give the title like who is who is whom right um, joe is the vice president of sales john is maybe the ceo whatever it is then you have something called opportunity now let's talk about opportunity here opportunity definition is um opportunity is is the object which tracks where exactly the deal is and it tracks which product that you are selling to the customer see i might have hundreds of product but i as a sales executive when i go to this account how do i know which product i am selling to this uh, customer i have no idea right so this is where opportunity comes to the picture how do i know what is the status let's say you know uh, uh, initially uh, let's say initially you know uh, five demo has been given right and the the stage of this particular business is let's say uh, negotiation so opportunity is something which has let me just open the opportunity in a new tab this is the opportunity detail page by the way right this opportunity has something called stage this is the stage and what do you call this do you remember this what do you call this this is called path correct we have seen the same path for lead now the same thing same path is available for opportunity right so uh, uh, as a business executive as uh, the opportunity owner what i'll do is i will change keep changing the stages so let's say i have given the first demo the stage would be qualification second demo need analysis again these are the values you see this path values right this is nothing but the stage the field name stage these are the standard values given by salesforce uh, if your business want uh, in this case definitely your business um, would definitely like to have their own custom values right so as an admin this is our job again to do right so this is the opportunity detail page and uh, these are the uh, uh, stages that we have and guess what here is the main important part because opportunity is something which hold the product information right you might have hundreds of product but which product you are actually selling to this particular account in this opportunity is what you select over here so i as a sales executive will click here and add the products i can first choose the price book and then whatever product associated with that price book will come or i can click on add product which will anyway ask me to choose the price book first right I have so far two price book one is standard price book which is salesforce standard price book one is the custom price book i just now created thanksgiving day if i select thanksgiving day and save see this will show me in this page all the product that is related to the price book called um thanksgiving day price i have only one product so far associated with this price book the name of the product is this code is this list price is 90 us dollar so i'll select this click on next and in this page it will ask me how much quantity that i'm selling so i'm let's say i'm giving you know um two quantity okay if you want you can specify some date this part is again um customizable right so if business want wants to have uh, something automated over here in this page 
right uh, uh, something validated let's say the uh, quantity cannot be more than three quantity cannot be more uh, less than five whatever it is you can actually do it here we again we will learn this part in the uh, configurations uh, save once you save uh, basically what happened is that product that you have created is being associated with this opportunity okay if i show you the entire picture now i'll go back to the account okay this is the account now this is the clear picture this is the now anybody um from delhi pad let's say someone uh, someone the ceo of the company is stepping into the crm and just wants to check the health of this uh, customer called xyz private limited he will just go to the accounts open the customer detail this is the customer detail by the way he will go to the related we'll see okay this customer has two contacts and one ongoing opportunity okay and then he will open the opportunity okay and he will see here how many products has been added so the product is gst automation quantity is 2 sales price is 90 so if you go back to the details and see here the amount is 180 dollar how this amount has came this 180 dollar amount is basically being calculated from here 90 into 2 this has been um, uh, calculated automatically another important part in opportunity is basically um, expected revenue okay opportunity has a field called stage and guess what whenever you change the stage right see i am there in prospecting as of now right this is the initial stage so my probability to convert this customer is just 10 percent let's say i'm changing to um to something like negotiation I mean that's like in the end right that's the last uh, uh, last stage basically before close so m now my probability is 90 percent so uh, opportunity has the stage field and where uh, if in case you as an admin are adding a new stage value you can also define what would be the probability for that uh, particular stage okay so based on that if you click on save see here expected revenue is coming see expected revenue is nothing but the probability like 90 percent of this amount like probability of that particular amount now if i change uh, i am there in negotiation by the way you can either change the stage from this particular uh, pencil where is the stage um, this particular pencil or you can just click here and click as current stage see i i changed it back to qualification and my expected revenue become 18 because the probability is now only 10%. So this gives a very clear picture to the sales executives. Like uh, they can easily forecast like how much would be my uh, this quarter sales.